Hello and welcome to this new video in which I will try uh, and show you uh, how to install the Broadlink plugin into Domotics so you can use your Broadlink device with uh, Domotics. Um, at first what we are going to need is uh, a web browser, uh, WinSCP to transfer files to your Raspberry Pi with uh, Domotics and PuTTY to connect to SSH. At first we need to download the uh, Broadlink app and uh, to do that you can uh, look up in the Play Store uh, Broadlink and it's the first uh, first one, the eControl uh, app. Uh, once you installed it you can open it, uh, accept uh, the privacy terms and then uh, skip the sign in uh, thing and go directly into uh, the app and you click on the plus sign in the upper right corner and into add remote uh, and then you all have to uh, put in your wi-fi credentials once you have done that you can click the configure button and it will uh, show the configuration success and you can uh, get uh, you can pair your uh, Broadlink device by uh, tapping on the arrows and it will successfully integrate once you uh, enter your Wi-Fi credentials again and then you can uh, add and edit all sorts of things but we are not going to do that in uh, this video uh, once you have uh, connected your broadlink to uh, the app uh, we do need a couple of things we need to prepare the installation for broadlink so we ssh into our raspberry pi using putty uh, and cop i will copy these commands into my raspberry pi SSH and wait a little all right um, in uh, the editing I fast forwarded uh, this but now it's successfully installed and we can install the next one Alright, once that is done, we need to go to the Domotics plugins folder. So we will, I will put, uh, try and put these uh, co commands all in the description. We need to make a directory in there. So now we have the directory broadlink rm2. Use, we use this command. Now we need to download the plugin files from this website and I already opened that over here uh, we can scroll down and click on the little arrow over here and we get into the Dropbox and the files we are going to need are the plugin.py, pluginsend.py, pluginhttp.py and pluginhttp.sh and we can all find this over here for for example the pluginhttp.sh the plugin .py is over here and the plugin HTTP over here, plugin send well, you can find them all over here and we need to download them to our downloads folder um, then we need to go into WinSCP we need to connect to our Domotics Raspberry Pi uh, the credentials will be the same as your SSH uh, credentials. Uh, go into the Domotics plugins and then the... Because I already opened it, I didn't show it yet. Uh, but now I need to go into my download. Uh, right, so the plugin files, we can drag them across to the other side. And now we don't need this anymore. Um, well, if all is okay, we can uh, theoretically restart the modics. We'll check this. 
we uh, did all of that so we now we can sudo service domotics restart all right once domotics is uh, restarted we uh, open our web browser again and go to our domotics instance and we go to hardware we are going to add hardware and we are going to choose the broadlink rm2 with Kodi remote um, we should know uh, I have the RM mini and we have to uh, get our IP address in there and our MAC address so these are mine I have to check the wiki too on this one uh, it's without the double dot thingies so I'll remove those um, and this should be okay if I am correct yes it is uh, should be okay so I will call this broad link one and add it the hardware is created the devices can be within the devices tab so now we should find our broad link devices created command and remote so now we can go to our switches page and we can uh, say that it needs to learn uh, for example uh, an, uh, an RF or uh, IR code uh, from the Modix so we don't even need uh, the app anymore um, this is uh, yeah well this was it um, I hope this uh, was helpful to you if you have uh, any questions, I will uh, redirect. Uh, I would like you to redirect you to the uh, Domotics forum. Uh, there are a lot of talented people uh, better in helping than me. Uh, so if you enjoyed it, uh, please leave a like, uh, maybe subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.